covering the mark of the beast. Okay? According to the Bible, everyone in the last days will be given a mark. And you don't have a mark, you cannot buy or sell. Alright? Now, don't talk about 2,000 years ago. We talk about 30 years ago. 30 years ago, if I tell you that you're going to receive a mark on your body, you will laugh. You say, what are you talking about? Are you crazy or something? Those days when you go, 30 years ago, when you go to the supermarket, remember, when you check out, you buy your things, there will be a cash register there, and the cashier will... Right? Yes. Very fast. And then you check out. Mm. Now, how you do it? Sweat. How? Scan. There's a barcode. You scan through the barcode. Mm -hmm. Then, you walk out. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Very interesting. So it changed. Why I'm telling you this? There's a lot of speculation about what the mark of the beast is. If you go to the internet, people talk about it. Everywhere people talk about it. And we know that Satan wants to control the world. He wants to, he wants to force everybody to receive him. If you receive his mark, you agree, then you have a force to believe in him. You are forced to follow his system. Which God say you cannot do that. Alright? How would it happen? It's got to do with America. I'm sorry to say that. It's got to do with Europe. Okay? Would you believe me? Mm -hmm. If I use the scripture to prove to you? Okay? Now, this is the flag of Europe. Remember, I talked about the feet of clay and, and iron. Now, I explain to you the last world government. That is, you see the star... This is the last world government, that will be EU. History of EU, the Schuman Declaration 1950. After that is the Treaty of Paris, 8 of April 1951, six founding members. Treaty of Rome, May 25, 1957, forming of the EEC with 10 countries. Uh, recent 10 countries. Then Treaty established the European Community 209. This is the early poster depicting the formation of EU. Can you tell me something very strange about this picture? Eleven stars. Okay, the stars. What about the stars? You see, the middle is bigger than the rest. Yes. What do you see else? The Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel, very good. This is the Tower of Babel, that this is incomplete. Some more? Yes. Many times in one voice. Many times in one voice. The Tower of Babel is what? <laughs> one many tongue. times. Many times. One, 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 one time. One Here is many times one voice. Okay? You see some very interesting things. The people are all made like squares like that. And that is a form of idea to tell you that people are in being controlled. Now, let me explain to you deeper. This is not a star. This is a pentagram. It's a pentagram. A star is on the other side. You can see like that, then like that, then like that. You see? It's the reverse. Why? Why is it like that? Mm. Can you see? This is satanic worship. That means the emblem of EU has got something to do with satanic worship. Yeah? So it tells you the EU is an evil place. This is the parliament building built accordingly to the Tower of Babel. Alright? See, it looks like it's not yet finished. And if you use the building to merge it, it's perfect, right? Uh -huh. The poster, you see? I merge it with the poster. Is it perfect? Yes. yes. 
So, this is what they say. The building is complete and in use, but it's designed to look unfinished and even has ring platform around it to represent scaffolding. When asked by a secular journalist why, why the Tower of Babel, an EU official replied, what they failed to complete 3,000 years ago, we in Europe will finish. Oh. It's evil. Because God will not allow them to build the Tower of Babel, right? Yes. Now they are trying to rebuild the Tower of Babel in, in... They are very proud. Why the EU? Because it's a former Roman Empire. 70% of the world gross domestic will come from the EU. Made up of 10 strong nations and 17 other clay nations. Okay, there are strong and weak nations in the EU. This is Henry Spark. This is what it says. He was former the Belgian Prime Minister and one of the people who is the architect for the European Union. And this is what he said. We do not want another committee. We have too many already. What we want is a man of sufficient stature to hold the allegiance of people and to lift up us out of the economic morass into which we are sinking, send us such a man, and be he God or the devil, we will receive him. Wow. Oh, he declared that, remember when you say something, your mouth either can be a blessing or a curse. When you say something like that in the air, it takes place. You understand? When you pray, you are making a decree into heaven. God take it as your prayers as a weapon in heaven. So when you say you accept the devil, the devil also acknowledges it. Okay, you want me, I'll come. Alright? So, the Antichrist will come to Europe, I believe that. I won't go through this because this is in Mandarin. This appeared in 1999, Newsweek magazine, with the title, What is this beast? Can you tell me what you understand from this picture? Who is this? USA. US. Uncle Sam, USA. Who is this? Uh, who's that? China? No. no. Bulldog. Oh, England. 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 All right, British Bulldog. Godzilla? Godzilla. Europe. Godzilla? Oh, come on, you. You people, general knowledge is very bad. Huh? <laughs> what is this? Some of the money, you can see the money here. China. Oh, sweet, China. So, uh, yeah. Japan. Oh, Japan. Oh, Japan. Japan. Japanese yen. Japan. <laughs> what is this? China. 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 Okay, what is this? European oh. It's a beast, right? Yeah. With how many heads? One, two, three, seven. four, eight. five, six, eight. seven, eight. 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 What is this? Europe. Europe. What is this? What's that? A truck? Is it a truck? Come on, if ben. somebody can tell me what is this? Ben. <laughs> ben. Ben. You are right. Ben. Ben. That means this picture is prophetically telling you that Europe will control the world financial resources. Do you know that American Federal Reserve is controlled through Europe? Do you know that? Your money is controlled through Europe, not America. Americans don't own their money. You don't know that? You want to know? Come from my third revelation teaching. I explain to you Federal Reserve. You stay in America, you don't understand, but I explain to you. <laughs> Money is controlled from Europe. Mm. Good to Malaysia. Mm. Mm. It is controlled by Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> Read the news. Leading article, the end of the dollar spell, the rise of a new order. One day your currency will fall. We don't know when it will fall because if it don't fall, the Antichrist cannot rise up. 
If the currency don't fall, they cannot have global control. So all the currency of the world will fall, including your money. It says here in Telegraph, there will be nowhere to run from the new world government. Those days, nobody write this. It's only a conspiracy theory. Now, they are not afraid, you know. They say, there's nowhere to run from the new world government. They're going to control the world. One day, very soon. So, when you see a car like that, 66, that's not the Antichrist, okay? <laughs> it's just a number on a car. <laughs> or when you see this number somewhere, or you cannot calculate because you don't understand, or when you see players with this number 6, it doesn't mean Antichrist. It's more than that. I'm going to share with you. Now, the mark of the beast is a reality. It's no longer a speculation. Anybody knows what is RFID? Uh, what is RFID? Uh, Anybody knows? No. Oh, that means I'm going to ex do a lot of explaining to you. Can I see your Bible first? RFID. RFID. RFID is this chip in your car. Can you see the chip? Yeah. It stands for radio frequency. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. In, in this, there's radio frequency. And anywhere in the world, you can use this car because of the radio frequency. It knows where you are. It's a chip. There's RFID. It stands for Radio Frequency Identification. A microchip in a label used to transmit data when the label is exposed to radio wave. So today, in some of your Macy store and all that, some of the product will have this on the label. So if you try to steal the clothes, you think out there will be a sound, then they will catch you, okay? Because this will find wherever you are. Now, what? why I'm telling you this, I'm going to share with you some important things. Alright, with this, it's connected to the satellite. For example, if you are going in a place, somewhere, your phone can tell you where you are. Right now, I'm here in Santa Rosa, in this center. My friend in Malaysia can take up their phone and find where I am and they can see this building because I've allowed them to see me through the SIM card. The SIM card is RFID, you understand? Mm -hmm. In your phone. Mm -hmm. Do you have this wave? Sorry, I'm having trouble with the connection. Please try again at home. Sorry. <laughs> RFID? <laughs> this is from Malaysia, my car. Can you see the symbol? See the symbol here? Wave. So with this, I can go anywhere in the world. Alright? And if there's a machine, I just tap here. It's paid already. Fast. Interesting? Now, this is a chip that we produce. Okay? This is the smallest one in Malaysia. It's produced in Malaysia. How small is it? Can you see? Inside this chip, it can have all the information about you, your birth, your passport number, everything inside. Alright? And it can be put in your hand. Alright? Or your head. Mm. The company that does this is an American company called Mondex. Alright? You know the MasterCard logo? There? Mm. MasterCard? Yes. That's the company that produces the chip. The microchip, they call it. Why I'm telling you this is very interesting. We are living in this 
exciting age mm. when Jesus will return again. Mm. Mourn text. The word mourn stands for money. money. Dex stands for dexterity or right hand. Okay? Yeah. The Bible says the chief implant where? Right hand. The mark, right hand. See the connection? Oh. This is Lucent Technology, an American company. The logo is not an O. Alright? This is the actual logo it comes from. The snake that eats its tail is an occult symbol mm. and formerly it was not called Lucid Technology, it's called Lucifer Technology. Oh, yeah. Okay? Today it says, Return could be microchipped like dogs in the decay. Every dog in America is microchipped, right? It's microchipped. And it says, Return could be microchipped like dogs in the decay. Very cheap merger with credit monitoring firm worries privacy activists. They are coming with a chip. On Australia could be implanted with microchip for tracking and identification within the next two or three generations of prominent academic says. UN meeting here proposal for worldwide ID system. Now UN is proposing everybody take a chip. Okay? Australian newspaper promoting RFID chip. Microchipping of animals here. This is a man that takes the microchip on his hand. Okay? So, from the card, first is cash. Then they get rid of cash, then they have card. And then from the card, it's transferred to the hand. You agree? That's a possibility. Is it possible? Yes. yes. Yeah. In future, you don't even need passport. If you have a chip. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go through immigration. You just mm -hmm. walk through and they will scan you and you just go through. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. Easy for you, but dangerous for you as well. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to show you would Christian take the chip? The question is, do you think Christian will take the chip? 